find out about life in space, we interviewed an astronaut, Ron Garin. D is Mutaguitz. Ron Garin is Anandam. Hi, everybody. What's the ISS like? Well, the International Space Station is enormous. If it was on the Earth, it would weigh uh, about a million pounds. Uh, it is as big as a football field. Um, it travels around the Earth every 90 minutes, so we see a sunrise or a sunset every 45 minutes. And inside are world-class laboratories. We have laboratories from many different countries, and we're doing amazing experiments. It's an amazing, amazing place. When I lived on the International Space Station, and I lived there for six months, when I'd wake up in the morning and it was time to go to work, I would basically fly to work. I would just push off with a finger off a wall and just go flying around. If, if I'm working something on the floor and I don't want to bend over, I can flip upside down and turn the floor into the ceiling. So it's a lot of fun and it's great freedom. How do you sleep, eat, and use the bathroom in space? I had a sleeping bag and I would be floating inside my sleeping bag and you would just float as you go to sleep, which is a wonderful way to sleep. I felt that eating was pretty much the same uh, in space as it was on the earth. I didn't notice any difference. There is a difference when you're drinking something because you can't drink out of a cup because all the liquid would float out of the cup, right? So. All of our liquid that we drink is in bags with straws in them. And, if, and you have to keep your mouth closed because anything that's in your mouth will float out if you, if you open your mouth. Playing with your food in space is highly encouraged. It's a, it's a lot of fun to, when you say, you know, pass me a peanut, you just launch it across the room and the person who asked for it opens its mouth and the peanut goes shoot, shooting into their mouth. If you can imagine how you go to the bathroom on Earth and everything that requires gravity to help with that process, replace gravity with air currents. And that's how we do it. We actually have two bathrooms on board the International Space Station and we use basically fans to draw the waste away from our body. Spacewalks are amazing. You know, we call it spacewalking, but we don't use our legs really for, for much at all. We use our hands. We, we have handrails, and this wire reels out on a, on a reel. And when you look around, you're, you're working in the most amazing environment uh, imaginable. Do you think there's life in space? You know, the universe is a really, really really big place and so it doesn't make much sense to me that there wouldn't be life elsewhere in the universe it also wouldn't surprise me if we're the only ones here we don't know yet hopefully we'll find out soon i'd like to know myself i think it's really important to continue to push our exploration and our civilization out into the solar system and beyond but while we're doing that, we have to take very, very good care of the planet that we have. So I will say, study hard, work hard, and I hope to see you in space someday. All the best.